I should have never had the one. It's a midget. It's a midget. <laughs> a magical midget. <laughs> She's a magical midget. <laughs> Hello there, listeners. Welcome to Book Sluts. I'm Jenny, and to my left here is... Angie. And to my right is... Maria. This is the book I am bringing to the mic, A Dance with the Fae Prince by Elise Kova. Um, okay, and I'll try not to have so many spoilers about the book. I'll just try to give like good enough detail. So this was a new adult fantasy romance, which is now I figured out is a new genre I like books, so it went from dark romance to rom-com now to i think the word is i learned romanticy i am probably butchering it but that's a new thing but what is it what is it a combination of romance and fantasy if you like slow burn romance fate and other magical creatures grumpy lord and easy rom-coms i recommend this book what it what is fay that's a genre no that's a that's a creature, like, a magical creature. It's a fairy, but fey. Isn't it like the forest? And yeah. Stuff like that? Yeah, like enchanted forest creatures and stuff like that. So not like Tinkerbell? Yeah. Basically, oh, so like, like Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you say Ote? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was imagining it. <laughs> Sorry. That's uh, I say okay. <laughs> so in this book, I do have a favorite character. I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher his name. It's like Ralph, but without the L. Raph? Raph? Like something like that. Um, He's like this little fey boy. He gets into so much trouble, but his little puppy eyes get him out of it. That's your favorite character? That's my favorite character in the book. Do you picture Leo? Yes, I picture (laughs) Leo. (laughs) I pictured Leo when you described him. Because like he'll you'll tell him to do something and you know that it's like something he could he's gonna get himself into trouble mm, okay but he gets out of it by just giving him those ojitos leo and, is her son yeah and he gives like the puppy dog face he's and i so for it every cute. time um so like this book did keep kind of keep me guessing <laughs> dick dick dive, <laughs> dick dive! <laughs> who's the dick dive <laughs> Oh my god! Don't such a dick today. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, so this book did keep me guessing to a certain point, where I was actually able to put in the put the pieces of the puzzle together. What was it about? So basically, it kind of felt like a retelling of Cinderella. She gets married off. She gets for no. So you know how they have Cinderella they look for a glass slipper. This has to do with they're looking for a book. Oh. And in order to re- obtain this book, the, her stepmother marries her off to this lord. I don't know who the hell he is, what he looks like, but he gives her a good sum of money for her. Well, not for her, but for the book. So the, the, the stepmom or the regular mom? The stepmom. Her, she she, she, she sold her money? off to get the book? No. Sorry. <laughs> so the stepmom sells her off to mm-hmm. this man, this lord, but in order for him to marry her, he wants this book that she has. Oh. So the stepmom's like, all right. And so she gives it, but for a good sum um, amount of whatever money was gotcha. worth back then. But her parents are dead. So like her mom's, her mom died, her dad died and remarried and all mm-hmm. that shit like Cinderella. Two steps. No, one evil stepsister, one half sister, basically, what she has. There's going to be spoilers. I know that already. <laughs> so this guy comes to collect her. She wants to take her horse because her horse is the only thing she has left of her dad. Okay. Aww. And the, the stepmom being the bitch that she is says no. What a bitch. I know. So the guy that comes to collect her is basically like kind of like the butler or whatever the fuck he is. I'm cussing. Sorry. <laughs> um, to the guy. So he goes and takes her. And she's like wondering, when am I going to see him? When am I going to meet him? And then he, she tells the guy, the butler or whatever he is, like, I want to meet him. And he's like, well, I don't know if that's possible. Well, I guess it became possible. So the way they meet is so weird. He has the chairs back to back. She sits down and then she like see something like in her like peripheral vision is there a certain reason why it is yeah, like that i'll get to oh, that sorry <laughs> i'll get to that so she's about to turn he says don't look 
So she's not allowed to look. So she basically has, has her eyes closed. Well, she interacts with him. So she's not allowed to look at him at all. But the way she describes him, like, she says, like, his boy, she could tell he's an attractive man. And so there's a scene where he leaves her a letter saying, oh, if something were to, uh, it leaves her a letter saying that he leaves everything to her because he's leaving and something might happen to him while he's gone. Okay. So she's all like, what the fuck? She goes, I need answers. I demand answers. So she goes out because she's not allowed to also another part of the book. She's not allowed to leave her room at night. She's like forbidden to do that. He won't allow it. This reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. I know. It's weird. It's like there's it's a lot of different fairy tales into it. Oh, okay. So she goes out. She demands answers. And then she comes up. She goes into the forest and she sees that there's something going on, like a ritual. And she sees like these creatures with horns, wings and everything. And then she sees this man. And she's like, oh, my God, who's that? And then she sees that he's holding up the, her mother's book and he's going to throw it into the fire. <gasps> yeah. So it's the last thing that she has of her mom. So obviously, what's she going to do? Yeah. So she, she's like, she catches the book and they make eye contact. And then like she falls into the fire and she's thinking, oh my God, I'm going to burn alive. And mm -hmm. then she wakes up. She's like, what the fuck? I'm not dead. She realizes the man with the wings it's her husband. Oh, my oh. God. So he's a, fairy? he's a fairy. Wait, so how did they get married and her not see him? He just wrote it off. Like, back then, you could just write it, like, signatures. That's oh, it. okay, okay. <clears throat> because it's, like, set in the old times. Like a mm -hmm. business transaction. Yeah, basically, much. that's what she was. That's crazy. So throughout the whole time, like... And she's human? She's 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 human from what she thinks, but she's Ooh. human. Okay. okay. She's right. human. So, um... What's I gonna say? Um, she sees him with the. Thing. She sees him and then she realizes it's him. So his in the book, his name is Lord. Damn it, I forgot the name. Lord something. That's not the Devlin or the. Devlin. Yeah, his name, but he goes by. Did I bring my book? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was somewhere. Yeah, his name was Lord something. Lord Ford Quad. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny was watching that yesterday. <laughs> Lord Fenwood. That was his name, but he tells her her his actual name is Dev Devon. Devian? Devian or something like that? Or Devon? Davian? Davian or something. Something like based around that. I don't remember if there was an L. No, there was no okay, L. Okay, so da da Davian. Davian or Devin or something like that. So he tells her name and who he is. And he's basically pissed because she stole his magic. That's the whole ritual. Ooh. So she has his magic in her. <gasps> and they're like saying, oh, no human could survive this long. It could survive a certain amount of days in the fey world basically okay. and she proves him wrong that's awesome yeah so he hates her he, he hates basically hates her because right now because she has the magic he needed to become the king to overthrow another king that made himself quote quote king but he's okay. not king because king. he was killing off the bloodline his bloodline oh it's weird because he's it's not technically his bloodline but it was his mother's husband's bloodline. Okay. So in the way it works is that even though it was the uh, his stepfather's bloodline, it still makes it his bloodline. Oh. I know, right? That's a, that was a little confusing okay. on that part. On that, like you gotta follow it to understand. Yeah. That. Got so you. it throughout the book, it like dis, dis, oh, they discuss about everything. And um, damn it. <laughs> um. So is yeah, this a it's series? basically yeah no this is a standalone it's a standalone book oh okay so it's basically like I would call it like kind of an enemies to lovers because she hates him he hates her she doesn't want anything to do with him she just wants to go home mm -hmm. but it slowly slowly start falling in love which I like yeah is there like smut there is one smut scene so I give it how many chiles. Un chile. <laughs> Un chile, okay. Because it does go to... Because she's obviously a virgin, so oh, okay. it's detailed and everything. Can you describe to our listeners what a chile means? <laughs> like spicy? Like no. how spicy, oh, the, okay, okay. How spicy the, the smutness is in the book. Like the love scene. So the descriptiveness everything. of the smut isn't enough for two chiles? Yeah, it's only enough for one chile. One chile. In my opinion, one chile. Other people probably give it two. Okay. Two. I give it one. Got you. Oh my God, I'm a slut. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Oh, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay." Um, how do you rate the book overall? I actually rated a four. 
Oh, okay. Mostly because the character was kind of pissing. The main character, Ka- Katria. Yeah, Katria. Katria kind of like annoyed me every now and then because the way she saw love, she thought it was, that's how it was going to be. How old is she? She's 18. Oh, okay. oh, that's why. It's unrealistic. Oh, wait, I would think 16 to 18. Oh, okay. And she's always been stuck inside her house? Yes. Yeah. Basically. So How does she think it's, it, it is? She would like, okay, so her father married the stepmother, and she would notice that the father would favor the stepmother a lot, and he would never stick up to defend her, and he Aww. thought, she thought, that is that what love is, where that you turn a blind eye on your child? Aww. She didn't want that. Okay. So throughout the whole time, she knew she was... She had these feelings for him, for Devion. It sounds da- like Dav- Avia. Dav- Dav- Davion. I know we're probably butchering it. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> French people, help us. <laughs> so anyways, throughout this time, she begins to notice that she gets these feelings. What, what happens to make her get these feelings? It's just the way like he looks at her, um, compliments her. Just the type of person he is with her. Like, sh- you know grumpy man like oh it's so like the girl's her princess base the guy the yeah whatever princess <laughs> and so he doesn't hate her N- no the only time he does he only does hate her is because she stole his magic quote what he says you stole my magic but th- th- she kind of did it <laughs> and when does he fall in love with her um when he i there i think to when sorry almost stuttering when she was in her in the garden and she was just i guess she was sitting and she was kind of swaying and she's playing like this little guitar looking thing don't know the name to it and she's singing the music of his people and like he later asked like where did you learn this they're not related are they that's what i was thinking (laughs) were they related the whole time i was like oh my god they're related they're related they're related they're related (laughs) and then you realize they're like they're not yeah, she's just a fairy that's the fucked up thing is okay so she has these scars on her back i feel like i'm going everywhere with this book <laughs> no it's fine so she has these scars on her back and i guess she said she got them from when she fell as a kid as a kid and you know she was never allowed to go up to high places anymore because when she fell she fell along with her stepsister so she felt that her stepmother like resented her for that thinking like she was trying to kill her stepsister oh yeah but the scars actually mean are something totally something else yes <laughs> she burned off, off her wings the that stepmother oh, hell because no. when she was falling she, on purpose no so the the stepsister that she tried to get away from someone from what i remember she was trying to get away from someone the stepsister followed her and she was pushing her and pushing her and pushing her to the edge and they both fell, and she realized that the stepsister was falling first. And then she came, and then she realized she was falling faster, and she caught her. Oh, and she caught her. And that she, all she remembered is waking up and t- 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 uh, hearing her stepmother tell the, her father, like, you're so lucky I, w- I was able to do this. To find out, the stepmother clipped off her wings, so she burned where, where her wings were. So she's a fucking fairy. And she is the original, original person, queen, queen of the Fae. So it's her bloodline. Oh, shit. Because her mom is all, it was also a Fae. Because she was part of that bloodline, but she ran away because that other bloodline was uh, Boltov. That's the bad guy. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but he was killing off her, the mother's bloodline, oh. her bloodline. And the, I guess the mother got away. Same with him. That's why he was in the human world because he was married into that bloodline. That's crazy. So he needed that magic to take back his kingdom. So she's the true That's ruler. why they wanted the book. There's more to the book. I'm but just keeping wanna... a lot of things yeah, out. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. When was it published? Is it recent? Like I, It was published in 2021. Yeah. Honestly, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty new then. Yeah, 2021. And, you know, at the end, um, she was really, um, her her other sister is her half-sister. So from the stepmom and the stepmom and her dad. <laughs> and um, at the end, he takes her to go get back her horse. And she tells her, come with me. And, she, and the stepsister does. And they just ride off. So she stays with him. So she's a half sister, not a step sister. Okay. Half-sister. What happened? The spicy part. Well, it just talks about how she lost her virginity. Yeah, nasty. 
<laughs> Your chile. <laughs> Un chilito. I don't know. She said his girth was pretty big. Wow. <laughs> so that's why I don't say. <laughs> so fairies. <laughs> Faye, sorry. Faye? Faye, yeah. Faye. But he's a fairy. Yeah, yeah like basically. Faye. So what? Why not <laughs> say fairy? Because it's a better way to say it. It's like abbreviation. And there's like magical creatures in general. It's yeah. not just fays are not just fairies. Oh, okay. Okay. So that, okay. That's better clarification. I guess. So this concludes this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed our book talk and that you will continue to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe on here on whatever platform you are listening on. See you next time on the Book Sluts.